Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Alien Strand Podcast. I'm your host, Donald Desma, and welcome to today's show, okay? So, uh, we're pretty much live, I believe, here on YouTube and all the other channels, but what I wanted to... Uh, to get across to everybody today is that uh, you know there's ufos all over the world and um they're just popping up everywhere now right so you know as ufologists we're always trying to you know figure out where they're coming from of course but why they're 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 here you know um and so many people are just catching them in the sky all over the place you know and it's 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 unbelievable how how these things are happening um, on a on a daily basis, you know, it's just uh, I, I don't know why they're why they're coming here, and we're, we're we're always trying to answer those questions of why they're coming here, um, you know. And we've been doing I've been doing ufology already about four or five years already, and um, it's 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 kind of bothersome in a sense to where it picks your brain to where you're just trying to figure out okay when you first see these things and i have seen these things over and over many times personally so um when you see these ufos up in the sky you know you just try to figure out exactly what you're looking at at first right and if it's a satellite now these days or if it's a drone now these days but when i saw these things you know i was like 14 years old there's no drones or anything like that that was satellite though but uh, after the years progressed, you know, you you try to figure out, okay, what exactly am I looking at here? You know, and it just uh, it just intrigues your mind to understand the uh, the aspect of, of what you're trying to figure out here, right? So a lot of ufologists, real ufologists, that actually do this, not necessarily for a living, because a lot of them do not get paid. Nobody gets paid for this. It's very uh, and if you do, you know, these guys are like pretty much on the History Channel, on these big old shows, you know. Um, and there are a lot of them are historians, right? But, you know, um, when we made this documentary, The Middle, right? Um, it has a lot to do with people that, real people, uh, that you don't even know, that you've never seen before, that experience these crafts up in the sky, right? And when they experience them, they, uh, they have stories to tell. So when we did this documentary, The Middle, you know, we wanted folks to experience what they went through as far as uh, ufology, you know, an, an aspect of that. And and we wanted you to see this um, in, in, in a sense to where what they saw and how they experienced it. Right. Uh, a lot of them did have um, a lot of photographic and and uh, and video of of what they captured right and so and, and it always trickled their mind of what exactly what they were looking at so here at alien strand and even on the podcast you know we're i haven't had a podcast maybe about three months because i've been so busy with filming you see my cameras back there and you know it's just one of those things you know we're, we're trying to uh put this content content out to you uh so that way you can see this what's going on so you know if you do have a chance you know check out the middle here and and this is going to be the actual um picture that you're going to see on on any upcoming uh, trailers or or we do have a trailer right now on alien strand uh here on youtube uh and if you can please subscribe subscribe we need 1000 subscribers okay this is why the only reason we're, we're trying to get 1000 subscribers is so that way we can get this film because i'm an independent filmmaker i'm not one of those million dollar budget filmmakers to where they can just get it out there this is independent right so for us independent filmmakers it's so much harder to try to get your film out and i pre-released this to a few people a couple of ufologists out there so they can exactly see what this film was about now we got raving reviews on it which being our first film and i'm really excited uh to to tell you guys about the the reviews that we got so if you go to ledsfilms.com you can actually see a pre-release um, the whole movie you can see it on there right uh you have to have google though or google duo uh, in order to, not google duo, uh google drive in order to to see this film okay and if you don't have it please i suggest get it right and this is a pre-release for about 100 people you know it's only five bucks right now and you can see it on your uh tablet or you could see it on your on your cell phone, right? And and you could actually screen it right to your TV, and it looks it looks beautiful. So this thing it took us you know 10, 11 days to shoot. 
uh, and you know it and it took me at least four to five months to put the editing and put together right and the reason it took so long is because you know I this is a one-man show as far as editing and all that good stuff is concerned so you know I didn't have a big team or anything like that so that's why I'm an independent filmmaker but if you can check out the middle uh, you know and uh, right there on ledsfilms.com you know it's directed by me of course but you know and, and and it's just to for you guys so that way you guys can get a sense of what these folks were trying to uh, what what they experienced and this film's about Terry Lynch that, that gentleman there on the right you know we followed him there in Oregon and um, all over the the area where he lived where he's he caught a lot of these uh, UFOs uh, on film actually on on photos of them and then they had them analyzed you know I don't know if you've ever seen analyzations of of uh, UFOs but you know they I believe this has just been recent, maybe three, four years when they started using uh, these a applications on your um, like photo enhancements and stuff to in order in order to catch the, the, the heat sources and everything from these crafts. But anyway, we did this whole uh, documentary and, you know, we uh, we followed four or five people and we were able to get you some really, really good content. So if you can, please subscribe to this channel. Uh, and we're trying to get a 1,000 subscribers. That way I can put this film on this channel here on Alien Strand Podcast, okay? So go to uh, ledsfilms.com. You'll see it there. Scroll down to the bottom, and you'll see it where it says uh, pre-release. Please read where it says please read. Read that uh, carefully before you, you you purchase, okay? And thank you so much for, for helping uh, Les Productions, Alien Strand, uh, and it's to get this this independent uh, documentary out to every one of you out there, you know, because so many people wanted to see this. You know, we're trying to get it on the bigger platforms. Unfortunately, it's taken about 12, it could take from 12 to 15 weeks. So it's just a long, long process. But if you can, you know, uh, go, go check all this film's dot com uh you know and you like i said ufology is one of the hardest things to to uh to detect in a sense because there's people out there that are trying to grab these ufos up in the sky right or or they're trying to grab these ufos you know uh, in clouds right and you can't see them with the naked eye right you you can only see them with these filters a lot of times and in video and that's why um, in that film, there is going to be a lot of that information in there for you to see. OK, um, and you're talking these people have these things zoomed in, you know, uh, they have like a 1000 uh, times power, maybe 3000 uh, on their zoom lenses to try to get as close as they can to these crafts up in the sky. So that way you guys can see it. But, you know, uh, it's just one of those things that. We're all trying to figure out here in ufology and here at Alien Strand Podcast. You know, I haven't put one out as far as the audio content is, which I'm going to be getting out here soon. I have a few stories that I want to get out, but I really wanted to, to uh, reach out to you guys here today on here on, on YouTube and um, and just to get this information out to you, you guys for this film that's going to come out. Uh, and it has a lot to do with, like I said, UFOs and, and true stories of what everybody's going through. Now, I want to show you guys this uh, video that just came out today. Uh, I believe it was in China and, and somebody uh, happened to use their cell phone and grab this stream. So I'm going to pop it up here on screen right now so you could check this out. Let me know what you think about this.
<laughs> so I'm having some glitching problems here. But anyway, what do you think about that? Is that doesn't that remind you of the uh, UFO that they caught? Like I don't know what four or five years ago up by the airport there, and uh, the one that was come going around houses and kind of throwing the beams of light down to to folks. You know, um, this is a actually, but this is a smaller craft. The one that that they caught a few years ago, as it, it was a long, uh, had a long cylindrical shape to it. So uh, yeah, this one just came out, and, and when I saw it, you know, I was like, wow, you know, that's a. Uh, you know, the, unfortunately, you know, people like to film with their cameras this way. And I've always talked to a lot of folks. Please, when you take a, a photo or a video, do it this way, okay? <laughs> let's let's do it the landscape style. It only only because it's easier to get the content when we have to put it out on on, on film or, or here on YouTube or for other people to other people to see. But I know people get excited and they and they want to take that video. But what did you think about that one? You know. Um, it didn't look like no helicopter to me. Uh, those two lights were were uh, kind of shooting in two different directions. You know, um, usually you'll have one spotlight only on a on a helicopter when they're looking for folks. But uh, you know, this, that one was very strange to me, and uh, uh, I just wanted to put it out to you guys. Now, you know, when we talk about UFOs and and uh, everything that, that happens uh as far as as ufology right so of course you know we had the uh the middle here right that we put out the the documentary out for here that's that's on pre-release right and then this one had just came in here as well uh this week so this is by someone i don't know if it's a gentleman or, or a female but they claim that this ufo here when they're in their office, it seems to flash a light in their window to give them the the uh, the, the the inclination that we're here. Here we are. We're right here, right? So they kind of flash in the window. So when this person goes out and looks, they saw this craft up in the sky. Right, now this isn't the first time. So apparently, this person that uh, put it out there said that they communicate with this craft on a daily basis so uh you know that is a strange one indeed right uh just to see something like that up close and in your window right wouldn't that freak you out uh i'm glad they took a photo i believe they they stepped outside and grabbed this photo of this craft that was uh, uh right there by their their building where they work so it kind of makes you think a little bit if you know this person is possibly getting abducted right uh, it's a strong strong possibility you know that that this is happening to them but you know um, I just I wanted to share this picture with you guys you know several pictures because it's one but it was blown up and and just to see that craft there on the right hand side you know that has a lot of the shapes of the, the recent crafts that they're catching now uh, up in the sky and you know this is happening thousands and thousands of people all over the world right so this is a recent very recent uh within a day or two that somebody uh put this out there okay so you know then we also have the gimbal ufo in 2015 right so of course this was taken from the navy jet fighter uh from an aircraft carrier that theodore roosevelt uh, near near the florida coast right so it's this photo kind of gives you the the uh the way that this craft is up in the sky right so and, and it kind of tells you like you know here's the other dome is at the bottom part of it you know it's got at atmospheric uh, distortions right you know it's it's the way that the emf which is electronic magnetic field is actually uh showing itself in in this aspect right um in this filter so they were able to stop this and and kind of show you the the uh, atmospheric distortion you know the the propulsion that was coming out of this craft because this was the one that was spinning round and round if you remember uh you know when the thing about this photo now it picks up the heat source right so the heat source is usually going to be bright white or red right so you're going to see it in the center of the craft but not in this one so remember this that the center of the craft is black in the inside which means it's cool like cold to the touch but the outside of this craft is where the heat source is so it kind of makes you wonder 
about what's going on here um, with that craft, right? Uh, you always hear a lot of people, you know, they're catching uh, some of these crafts where they're just glowing hot red, right? Uh, they're very radioactive, right? And a lot of people, they get in close proximity to these crafts and they end up getting some kind of uh, radiation sickness or burns. Even their cars are burning uh, from the dashboards melting, you know, uh, to the paint kind of melting off. So, and this craft is what's the strange thing. This is why I bring it up because the center of the mass is black, right? So it kind of gets you thinking, you know, why isn't the center hot? Which that is going to be the most of the, um, uh, the where the energy field or, or where it's coming from. So it, it kind of brings you to a question to how is this craft working, right? So that's what we're trying to figure out. You know, how is it that this craft is cool in the inside now? And, not, and hot on the outside. So there has to be a change of their propulsion systems as it has uh, gone uh, throughout the years. You know, they've been around for thousands of years. We know this. We know this, that, that they have been. So I just wanted to kind of throw that out to you guys. Uh, it gives you something to think about for a minute. You know, and uh, we have craft from the past. You know, uh, there's, uh, there's so many photos that we see on a daily basis of these crafts. Now they all, all most of them do have this disc shape, uh, kind of cylindrical in, in a sense, uh, shape to them as they fly, right? And uh, of course we have the one there in the center that was caught from Phobos off of Mars before that uh, that satellite was destroyed. But this is the last photo it took, that big one there on the, on the right hand side. You know, um, these these crafts, you know, they might have different shapes, but it all pretty much has this saucer kind of look to it, right? And there's a reason behind the the, the why it's like this, you know, why it's uh, this craft, why it's it flies this way, uh, or why it's built this way by them. You know, um, like I said, they've been coming around for thousands of years. Apparently, they've made something that can get around this solar system and around many solar systems uh within a blink of an eye right and these photos that that are out there that people put out there you know it just kind of gets you wondering a little bit exactly what are we looking at you know how do these things uh how long have they been around for right we always ask ourselves these questions right and it's just one of those things that we're just trying to figure out you know for ourselves and when we make these documentaries of sort uh not even not just mine but i have my other friends you know they they have they have one as well that are from dockside media check them out you know uh chris rupert and tyler transu check them out because they uh they have some really really good uh documentaries you know they have on a sasquatch uh now they had they have a new one it's called in plain sight you know they're not paying me for this it's just i saw it and it you know that documentary that they just put out here recently in plain sight um, disclosure, right? It it's going to give you a lot of insights on actual folks that were um, around these crafts as they were, were uh, captured. Let me say, let's just say that uh, they were captured and they were so close in proximity to these crafts to what they know exactly what they look like, uh, what these grays look like, what these the uh, extraterrestrials for different types you know um they were able to see the craft up close they were able to touch it you know um these are people in the uh in the actually military aspect uh of the underground right so they were able to to, to tell stories uh with that documentary and that's why i i hired been watching that one because you know you're going to see folks in them that you've never seen before right uh on these shows or anything like that and that's what you know, our documentary was all about, you know, it was just trying to get these, uh, these people that nobody knows to tell their stories. So I just want to thank you guys for, for sticking around and please subscribe, subscribe here to our YouTube, um, channel here. And, you know, we're trying to get a thousand subscribers. And as soon as we get that, we're able to put this film out here on YouTube. Uh, because we're an independent filmmaker 
And, you know, we're, we're just trying to get this information out to you guys. To make it a little simpler for you, right? So instead of trying to try to go around it in a different way, right? Uh, this would be a lot easier for you guys to watch it. And, you know, and tell us what you think about it. You know, I have seen this. A few people have already uh, purchased this. Uh, they rented it. It's a 24-hour rental. So as soon as you get it and you get the link, you're going to have it for 24 hours. So you'll be able to watch it for 24 hours, okay? And that's that's going to be your time limit on that link. So we, there's still a few available uh, to watch this documentary, okay? So it's going to be on Leds Films dot com you know it's called the middle so go check that out you know if you have a chance you know um is it was produced by alien strand as well you know it, it was all everybody got involved in this the the folks that got involved in this you know did a great and wonderful job uh of getting the information out to you guys you know it's just one of those things but i want to thank you guys for for just kind of sticking around here and and looking at this video today please share this video right because it's very important to get the documentary out to all you guys um uh, as fast as we can you know we're just trying to get it out so many people want to watch this you know but you can go to leds film that um you'll be able to check it out there so but again Thank you guys for sticking around, listening to me talk a little bit about ufology. You know, there's m many people uh, in, the, in the ufology world that you may think that they don't know too much about UFOs because of what they're just kind of posting on their groups. But there's folks that actually go out there and do the work. They get the boots on the ground. Um, and I have got my boots on the ground. And, and I research as far as like trying to figure out exactly what these things are because you'll see it in the documentary a lot of that work in there is uh i had to figure out and and look deep uh to find out the answers that we're looking for but if you guys can like i said subscribe to this channel let's get a thousand people on there if we can you know if you want to watch this pre uh, release of this documentary just go to ledsfilms.com there and check it out check it out man and uh like i said i i really appreciate each and one of you guys uh, i'm glad you guys are just sticking around uh we're gonna get more content out i'm gonna get some more ufo stuff out for you guys and you know we'll we'll see you guys on the next time all right so until then have yourselves a good day have yourselves a good evening and have yourselves a good night